Flight 229, you're clear for takeoff. Hey folks, Maverick Watch Reviews back here with another review for you. Today we have the Victorinox Alliance 100 meter quartz dress watch, model number 241764. And first I wanna thank Victorinox for sending me out this review unit. Make sure you check out Victorinox's website and pick yourself up one if you like this watch. They have free shipping on all items over $100. Great prices, free shipping, good selection. You really can't go wrong with Victorinox. Now as usual, we'll open this thing up, look at the fit and finish, the features and the functions, the build quality, and then I'll give you my overall impressions of this pretty nice dress watch from Victorinox. But first, I'd also like to invite you to become a patron of mine on Patreon. This will allow me to buy a better camera, better editing software, and give you a new watch review at least two or three times a week. Make sure you check out my Patreon page when you get a chance. My only commitment level is three bucks a month, but you can always give more or less if you want, and I would really appreciate it. All right, here you go. Typical Victorinox watch box. There you go. Now this isn't an Inox or a diver, so all you get with this one is just your, uh, your instruction and warranty book. And if you look in the back here, there's your card right there. So no other little accoutrement with this one, just the basics. Let's take the watch out. Man, this is kind of a, this is a big watch, man. All right, let's put all this stuff back and then we'll get into it. All right. Okay. Now, as you can tell from my last review, I actually bought a micrometer. So let's go ahead and get you your, uh, your specs here. All right, you're looking at a, now this is with the crown. Looking at a 47 millimeter case. Now it's probably about 44 millimeters without that crown. Okay, you're looking at, let me see here. Looking at, Wow, only nine millimeters thick. That's, a, that's pretty impressive. All right, looking at lug to lug. Looking at, what does that say? 52 lug to lug. And then the bracelet is, looks like 20 millimeters. 20 millimeter lugs, yeah, there you go. Interesting. So anyway, there you go. There are all your specs. I'm really glad I bought this thing. Really cool. There you go. Let's take a look at it real quick. Made by Nico. This is really nice, man. I like this thing. Anyway, <laughs> I'm digressing. All right. Let's go ahead and put up the rest of the specs on the left-hand side. And we'll talk a little bit more about this thing. Uh, you're looking at 100 meters water resistant, which is 330 feet. Of course, you already figured out what all the specs are. It does have a sapphire crystal. It's got a Ronda 715 movement in it. Has about a three year battery life. You do have a date function over there at three o'clock. You have a small seconds hand down there at six o'clock. You do have applied indexes. Uh, it does have super luminova, a non screw down crown over here at three, which I actually really like. It's a really nice sign crown, plenty of grip on it. Um, and of course it is Swiss made. So there you go. So there's really not much to tell you about this watch guys. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's a classy dress watch. Uh, it's not meant for, you know, swimming and diving and all that other type of active stuff. It's really just, you know, your, this is your, your boardroom warrior type of watch going out for a nice date, going out on the town, uh, boardroom type of stuff, work stuff. Uh, any, any, anywhere you have to be, it's kind of a classy, you know, dressy, dressy type of environment, you know, a nice party or something like that. This is the watch you're going to want to get. Uh, again, it's kind of a large watch. 44 millimeters uh, is a little bit larger than I personally like. Um, I really don't count crown, the crown and the measurements. I really just go by just the case, but it's, it's kind of a large watch, a little bit too big for me personally. Um, it is very legible though. You've got all those nice gold accents, big hands, decent size indexes, nice, you know, clear watch face, not a lot of writing on it, just really almost no writing other than um, the Victorinox logo and Swiss Army underneath there. Um, what else? I like that small second hand. I think it looks really cool down there at six o'clock. 
I wish they had maybe made the date window just a tad bit bigger on this thing. The date's a little bit hard to read since it's, you know, since the, uh, the text and font is kind of small on it. Um, again, really like the applied indexes, really like those with that gold accent to them. Um, I do like the two-tone look of this watch. I'm not normally a two-tone type of guy, but I actually kind of like this one. It's, it's pretty well done. Not, not too bad. Um, the only thing I really don't like about this thing is the butterfly clasp. I can't stand these butterfly clasps for some reason. It's just a personal preference. I think they're a little bit harder to get on than a normal uh, tang and buckle style watch or even a NATO watch. Uh, I just don't, I think they're overly complicated. I know why they made them like this, to kind of have a seamless bracelet look to it. And it does, it does pull that off. But when you put this on, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on for you. It's just kind of a pain in the butt to get this thing on, man. I just don't. Plus this one's super big. See, it's just unnecessarily, unnecessarily complicated. And gosh, guys, I don't think I can get this watch on. I think this watch is too small for me out of the box. It is. It's too small for me out of the box. I have eight inch wrists. Everybody always asks me that too. I have eight inch wrists. So this is a little bit too small for me to try it on for you. I apologize. But let's go ahead and check out the loom though. Let's go ahead and kill the studio light. Normally I like to zap it with about 10 seconds with the mag light. I love these mag lights, man. Really, really love these things. All right, and you're, you're gonna be underwhelmed, I can, I can assure you. There you go. You've got little luminous pips at all the indexes and then the inside of the hour and minute hand, and that's it, and it doesn't last very long. I always compare Loom to Seiko's Lumabright, and nobody can really compare to Seiko's Loom. Um, and it, you can see it's already faded. That's, that's, God, man, that's kind of disappointing. So anyway, uh, it's a nice looking watch. Again, a little bit big for me personally, um, but not like, you know, not like Invicta style big. It's not, or Nixon style big. It's just a little bit big for me. Uh, a lot of polished areas. I mean, this, I don't think there's any brushed surfaces on this watch. So it's really blingy, really shiny. Uh, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, if that's you know, if you're looking for a, a watch for a dress uh, occasion, this is really uh, really a good watch for that. You know, very well built. It's you know, it's Swiss made. Good looking watch. Really simple. Uh, I do wish you know you could have I could get this in a, in a uh, an automatic. I, I don't like battery driven watches, quartz watches that you actually have to open up the case and change out a battery. I just don't like breaking that seal. Again, personal preference. I prefer either solar or automatics now, or even kinetics. And kinetics are kind of a pain in the butt too. But but uh, anyway, good looking watch. Uh, again, I wish I could try it on for you, but I can't. It's just a little bit too small. So guys, that's really about it for this one. Uh, if you like this video, please click on like. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do so. I really, really appreciate it. You can get one of these over at Victor Knox's website for $595. And of course, I'll include a link in the description field if you want to go over and check it out and, and pick yourself up one. Um, that's really about it, guys. So anyway, any questions, comments, please put those in the, uh, the comment section. And I'll answer them as soon as I can. And until the next review, I will see you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.